Welcome in everyone. Very quick video today. I was quite surprised. I'm surprised to be sure, but a welcome one. When I saw this in game, actually, uh, the developers have been talking about it for quite a bit about bringing out a content roadmap to let us know what they are up to. And today they went and brought it out. They brought it, put it in the news there. It says the future. We are often asked about what we're working on and what's in the future for Nighthood as we'd like to get this information to you on a more regular basis let us introduce our roadmap containing information on what's coming soon as well as more distant plans hit the link below for more details and then if you do click that link it brings you to this post which has got pictures it's got a lot of information in it so i'm gonna break help breaking it down a little bit for you and explain it a little bit better uh, well the first bit it says coming soon in development and concepting so that's just a little bit of information about where they are for each current stage so the first bit coming soon this includes features fixes and tweaks that are coming up in the next updates so that's stuff that they've already done that stuff that's pretty much ready to go it's going to be coming out in the not too distant future and then in development this includes features that are currently in active development. This means they're working on it, they're making it, but it's not ready to go just yet. And then concepting, uh, that, that just means they're talking about it. That means that, well, yeah, they're talking about it. That's, that's what that means. So for the coming soon part, it says uh, Blood Moon, which starts tomorrow. Guild War 10, which is, they had a little bit of a, they were messing about with that a little bit. They changed the timer, they uh, delayed it a little bit. But if you go to the second guild shop, it does tell you in there when the guild war will start. And then multi-buy in the in-game stores. Uh, yeah, that that's a thing that's been requested for years, so I'm glad that that's coming. You're going to be able to spend all your purple dust from guild wars. You're going to be able to buy all the cobalt all in one go, so that is definitely a positive change and items in the inbox get added to your codex this is because if your backpack were full and then you got an event cape or something like that and you dismantled it from the inbox then it didn't go into your codex it likely won't happen to you but it has happened to some people that i do know about and yeah it's a good change it's not not too massive and then in development this is the interesting bit this is stuff that they're working on right now. It says Abyssal Mist. Don't know if that's how you say it. A brand new event with new enemies, themed customizations, and skins, and two new heroes to add to your roster. Uh, quite excited about that. I don't know whether it'll come after Blood Moon or not, because if you look at the dates, historically, Blood Moon is usually over Halloween. And then winter tide comes after it which is usually over christmas and if they run winter tide straight after this blood moon it's not going to be anywhere near christmas so there's a good chance that this event will come after blood moon and then atlantica continue your journey beyond Kanheim to face the new region well it's a, it's a new region that's all we know about that we don't have any information about that just yet but when they release new regions they will increase the level cap as well. So level 60 won't be the max. Maybe there'll be new in-game resources, like when we got the level 60 cap, we got the drop of patience and all that stuff that were all brand new. Some people will get new uh, versions of that to help level up. But yeah, some exciting stuff. A brand new unique hero for Alchemist fans with its own heroes challenge. This is in development. This means they are making a new unique Alchemist basically which hopefully hopefully it will be a guild boss hero because that is all alchemist needs right now it's the best class in the game for pv stuff for the rift and for all that stuff canheim is my honest opinion that it is the best class in the game but they can't hit guild bosses hard and they're not that good in the arena so if they can get some heroes that will cover those two things alchemist will be a may will be in a great spot may even be better than warrior dark portal a new event type don't know what that means um but it looks like maybe next year they might revamp the portal for the events because we get recurring events and the portals are usually the same from event to event so 
yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with that. Might be a new twist on the portals for the events. So yeah, and then it says rebalancing heroes, which is good. They can completely change the game by changing the right heroes to the right things. So I'm interested to see what they do with that. And then in the concepting part, that means that they're talking about it. That means that they're not actively working on it yet. They're just talking about it. This is in planning. It says Mythic Gear 2. I don't know what that means. Brand new set of Mythic Gear. Um, maybe an add-on for our set. Maybe we can change our set that we've got right now. Got no idea, but it sounds interesting. Mythic Charms. Again, I've got no idea, but I assume that these charms will be stronger than unique charms. And you'll be able to maybe sacrifice charms that we've already got in order to make these new mythic charms. I don't know. Uh, new events. Which, again, they've just announced three new heroes. The two for the new event. And one new alchemist for the hero challenge. And then they're talking about more new events as well. Region 8, which... Canheim is region 6, this Atlantica will be region 7, and now they're talking about the region after the region that we aren't even seen yet. A shrine for your minions, to level up your minions. Uh, arena seasons and leaderboard changes, it, that stuff is long overdue because the leaderboard, the arena thing, it's not that good, honestly. And codex improvements, don't know what it means, but all of that stuff... It sounds great. So yeah, I'm quite excited to read some of this. And they put a bunch of pictures of the heroes from this new event. From Abyssal Mist. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you some of these pictures. And this hero definitely looks like an alchemist to me. But we don't know. We've only got these pictures. And we've got some of the landscapes as well. So I'll let you make your own mind up on that. And let me know what you think in the comments as well. Because... I'm quite excited for this update that we've just had. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll be back tomorrow with a portal video for the Blood Moon event, which will be starting tomorrow. I have been James B. Online. Good luck out there.